Speak Student. Conditional and biconditional. Alashma. We're going to borrow an if-then statement from the greatest basketball player of all time. MJ said, "If you accept the expectations of others, then you never will change the outcome." The statement is a conditional one. That is, given the condition that you accept the low expectations of others looking at you, like you just accept that you're going to be a total loser and end up doing pretty much nothing with your life because you listen to your critics, then you'll never change their minds and be the successful person that's inside of you, or something like that. So mathematically said, consider the variable p to equal I accept that I'm a loser. Thank you, critics. Moron. And then consider the variable q to be then I'll be a loser. Well, if p is true, then q will be true. That is, if I listen to my detractors, then I'll lose. So the if-then type of conditional statements will come at you from all kinds of angles, like spin some things around by assuming the opposites. If p is not true, that is, p is false. That is, if you don't listen to your critics, then you'll have the chance to change things to not be a loser. <clears throat> Does that work the other way around? Like, if you'll have the chance to change your life to upgrade it, then will you listen to your critics? All right. Well, if Q is true, then will P be true? Well, in this case, maybe. No guarantees, though. That's called the converse, and is not even remotely related to the brand that once competed with. What if you know that P is false? That you won't listen to your critics? Then does that mean Q will be false as well? I.e., that you'll be a winner and not a loser? Well, no guarantees, but you get the idea. That's called the inverse. And the last flavor in this little dance is contrapositive, and has nothing to do with false pregnancy signs. If Q is false, then is P also false? Well, if you're not going to end up a total loser, then will you also listen to your critics? Take our advice. Be like Mike. Just don't take a couple years off to uh, play baseball. What did the buffalo say to his son as he left for school? Bye, son. Okay, bad joke. But if you survived it, how about clicking the subscribe button below? And if you're looking for more jokes from yours truly, why not check out our website at www.schmook.com? And if you want to get updates on what's new, well, check us out on Facebook and Twitter too. Please check our Facebook and Twitter pages, please.